Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 14, lesson 1. Draw points, lines, and rays. Page number is 873. Okay. I hope all of you are ready with your books and pencils in your hands. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video okay let us start today's lesson uh, the first thing in today's lesson it's uh, points uh, a point is an exact location that is represented by a dot let's say if I draw if I put a dot here for example this dot okay and I name it as a so I will say this dot this one it is known as point A okay let's move down let's me clear it so if whenever you see a dot and its name we call it let's say this one this is point X this is point Y okay now in this lesson we have three more things the first one lines lines are like this a line is like this okay the second one rays uh, you guys see the difference between the lines and the rays line have two arrows on both of its sides okay and array just on one side and the other one end point okay and the third thing we have line segment okay let us start with line first a line is a straight set of points that extend in opposite directions without ending. A line never ends, guys. Okay? A line never ends. Whenever you see that a line which is extending on both sides, how you know that it is extended? The arrows. The arrows are representing that the line is extending. Okay? If it is extending on both sides, you see, it is extending towards... Uh, right and towards left okay and we put the two points a and b just to represent the name of the line okay so whenever you see two arrows on both of the sides you will you will say that it is a line okay and how you will represent it you can write line a b because it have two points a b or you can write a and b and draw a small line above it now the second thing, ray. A ray is a part of line that has one endpoint. You see this one endpoint? There's no arrow. Okay. So it is an endpoint. On this side, this ray is not extending. Okay. This one is extending on both sides. That's why we call it line. But this one is extending just one side. So we call it a ray. Okay. So whenever you see two arrows means both sides of the line you will say it is a line and how you represent it this way line a b or a b and small line above it and whenever you see just a single arrow okay a line which is extending on one side only so you will write you will say that it is a ray okay and you will represent it ray a b or you will write a b and a small ray above it okay guys okay the third and the last thing line segment a line segment is a part of line between two endpoints a line segment is not extending boys okay you see there are the arrows but here in line segment no arrows it is fixed so it is not a line it is a line segment part of a line in between this one this part of a line okay and the name is the name of the first point end point is a and the second end point b and you can represent the line segment in this way there are two ways the first one line segment a b and the second one you can write a b and a small line segment above this okay so let us repeat this thing again when you see two arrows it is a line and this is the way you represent it when you see just a single arrow it is a ray and this is the way to represent it 
and when you see no arrow okay just a small part of line we will say it is a line segment and this is the way to represent it okay let us start the lesson now the first example here they draw this thing so what is this one guys it have two arrows okay and the name of the points and points X and Y so what you will write here for this one of course it is a line so you can write line XY or you can write XY and a small line above it with two arrows let us move to the next page okay just a single arrow it means it is array ray a b a and b or other word other way you can write a b and a small ray with a single arrow above it okay this one now here no arrows so it is a line segment line segment q r or you can write like this QR and a line segment above it. Two arrows extending in both on both sides. So it is a line in the name FB, line FB or this way. Just a single arrow extending on one side. So ray AC or ray AC. Okay. The next thing here extending on one side just a single arrow and end point on the other side so ray fg or fg ray no arrows part of a line line segment h k or this way two arrows extending both sides so line l m or this way no arrows line segment n o or n o and a line small line segment above it okay here they, they give you the points they give you the names and you have to draw it now the first thing they told you point t so you will draw a dot and its name is t so it is point t y z there is there are two arrows above y z so line y z in this way okay a single arrow above cr so it is array array cr no arrows so it is a line segment a w two arrows extending both sides so line s n single arrow so it is array t j let us move to the last page identify the figure that is shown on the stop sign this is the figure guys so it just have two end points and no arrow so which one is it of course it is a line segment they didn't give us a name you can give it a name and write it here line segment let me write it for you let's say we give the name first one a and second point b so line segment a b or you can write a b and a small line segment above it okay uh, use a pencil to draw a different type of traffic sign i'll leave it voiced okay let me move down name three real world examples you can write by your own also or you can write this one and explain the similarities and differences of lines and line segments so line is extending on both sides and line segments only two endpoints they are both made up of straight set of points but line do not end because it is keep on extending and line segment do i hope you guys understand the lesson Thank you so much and have a nice day.